When you're first starting your print-on-demand business, there are so many different things that you need to learn to be successful, but one of the most daunting tasks is figuring out how much to sell your items for. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to see what your competition is actually charging for their items so you can make sure you're being competitive, and I'm going to do two different examples. I'll do sweatshirts and wine tumblers. I'll show you how to quickly and easily calculate your cost for the item, including shipping and Etsy fees, so you know exactly how much profit you're making per item. And lastly, make sure to stay until the end because I'll go over what's even more important than the price of your item. And if you're new here, my name is Cassie Johnson. Welcome to my channel. I am a full-time Etsy seller and now Etsy business coach on a mission to make quitting your job and becoming a full-time Etsy seller possible for literally anyone. And if you've been getting value from my videos so far, do me a quick favor and like this video, comment down below, or subscribe. That way my channel can grow and reach even more people just like you that want to change their life. The first step to take when you're deciding what to price your items as is to actually go to Etsy if that's the platform you're selling on and see what your competitors are selling that product for. So in this case, the first one I'm gonna do is sweatshirts. So I just typed in sweatshirt on Etsy and we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what people are actually charging for their items. So the first thing to notice when you're looking through the search results is there's going to be a free shipping label underneath the store's name if they offer free shipping. Then you know they're actually charging $36 for that item. Whereas if the free shipping label is missing, they're probably charging on top of it instead of including it in the price of the item. So say this sweatshirt, for instance, is $32, but then they also charge $6.50 in shipping. So this is actually $38.50 for this item. It's also really important to understand that sometimes people will use kind of clickbait tactics, so only one size and one color will actually be that price that's shown here on the screen. So you need to actually open up their options and their variations and see what it costs in different sizes so you can better understand. So let's take this sweatshirt as one good example. In the search results, it looks like it's for sale for $10.39, but when I actually click on it, that price is for the extra small size that is sold out. All the other prices are actually $25 and up. And so you can see it's not always what it seems from the search results. So you need to actually click on your competition and see what their pricing actually is for a regular priced product plus shipping. So looking at what's actually selling in sweatshirts right now, there's a lot selling around the $36 mark, around the $38 mark, and even some of the cuter ones that have designs in the back are going for closer to $40. So I'd say the average range for sweatshirts on Etsy right now is anywhere from about $32 up to about $42 from what I've seen on the high end. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how wine tumblers are priced across Etsy's platform, and I'll show you how I would price those if I listed them in my Etsy store. The reason why I chose wine tumblers for this second example is because if you're in some fun niches like bachelorette parties and you get a best-selling design on, say, a bachelorette shirt, a wine tumbler is a great product to add to your store as a potential add-on for them to buy extra items. So anytime you get best-selling it is a good time to consider other items that that design could sell well on like mugs, tote bags, or wine tumblers. So I did order a nice sample to show you and make sure that this was a good product that I'd recommend selling. And I did get this one here and I had it say golden mom because if you didn't know I actually have two golden retrievers of my own. I think the print actually turned out really really nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off. You can feel it slightly raised but I think the colors turned out very beautiful and the actual tumbler itself is really nice. It comes with this nice sliding plastic lid that's easy to take off because it has a nice little lip right here on the edge and overall I'm really happy with the actual quality of the wine tumbler and would go ahead and say this is something I would sell in my store. 
But let's see what some of our competition is actually selling these items for. So for example, this one here is $24 but let's see what it actually is priced for in case there's other options. So some of these are actually closer to $40 or $23, $24. And then there is, it looks like an additional shipping fee of $6. So this one is actually Yeti brand. So I would say they can probably sell it for a little bit more expensive than we can. But if you are especially doing custom things with people's names on it, I think you could get well within that same $24 to $30 range for your wine tumblers as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at one that's potentially not a Yeti one. So this one here shows that it is $15. Let's see, for a black one, it would be $15 plus $5.50 for shipping. So this one is about $20 overall. This tumbler here is actually $12.76 with free shipping. So this one is definitely on the lower end. And then lastly, I have this wine tumbler here that is $20 plus the $4.39 for shipping. So it really seems that wine tumblers sell in Etsy mostly anywhere from about $15 to $30 is about the range that I've seen successful sellers selling their wine tumblers. So let's go ahead and jump over to Printify, see how much these two items, sweatshirts and tumblers, actually cost you. And I'd show you how I'd figure out what the actual total profit is after all the Etsy fees and shipping. So let's take a look and see how much sweatshirts actually cost on Printify's website. So the sweatshirt that I really enjoy selling is the Gildan 18,000. So that is this sweatshirt right here. So now depending on how much yours actually costs, is gonna depend on what colors you choose to sell and which production company that you choose to make your item. My two favorite print-on-demand companies on Printify are Swift POD and Monster Digital. Monster Digital is typically my go-to, but in sweatshirts they do only have six colors to choose from, whereas Swift POD has 18 colors to choose from. So you have to decide which one's a better fit for you based on what colors you want to sell and what other items you're already selling that you may want to be shipped together, like t-shirts, if someone orders multiple items. I will say that I tend to stick to the really basic colors anyways for the holidays since Christmas is coming up if you're watching this when I make it in August, like white, black, and sport gray because those sell out the least around the holidays. So let's say you want to sell sweatshirts from Swift POD this holiday season. You'd want to go ahead and take note that the price for their shipping is $8 to ship one of their sweatshirts. So let's say I want to sell the sport gray color. This one starts at $15.63 and goes all the way up to $25.94 for the 5XL size. So I typically like to test out my pricing on a middle range size since large and extra large are the most commonly purchased items. So let's go ahead and make our pricing off of size extra large, since I typically do all of my prices from small to extra large the same price. So for an extra large sport gray, that cost is $17.28. If you want to sell black sweatshirts, then for an extra large, that cost is $14.64. And if you wanna sell white sweatshirts, that cost is $11.95. Now it is important to know that I pay for Printify Premium, which is a $29 subscription service to Printify, where they give you discounts of up to 20% off of each and every item that you sell, which in sweatshirts actually adds up really, really quickly. So for Printify Premium, I do have a code in my description below. It's my first name, Cassie, in all capitals, and the number 30, and you actually get your first month free of Printify Premium. And let me show you how worth it it really is. So here's what the price is for Swift PODR without Printify Premium. The sport gray color in extra large is actually $22.43 without Printify Premium, so almost $5 more. The black is $19.01 in extra large, so that is almost $4 more expensive. 
The white and extra large is $15.52, so about $3.50 more. So really anywhere from $3.50 to $5 more per item if you don't have Printify Premium. If you're selling sweatshirts in your print-on-demand store, then that means you really only need to be selling six to 10 sweatshirts per month to break even on your Printify Premium, and anything after that, you're saving that on every single order. If you're watching this video much into the future, then go do this exercise for yourself to make sure that the prices haven't changed. For the wine tumbler, the example I showed you is for this 12 ounce insulated wine tumbler by Sunfrog Solutions. And that pricing without Printify Premium is $15.67 plus 650 for shipping, or is $12.07 if you do have Printify Premium. The next step is to figure out how much your total cost for your item is, including Etsy fees, so you know exactly how much you're making profit per item that you sell. Just in case you're new and aren't sure exactly how the payments actually work when you do print on demand plus Etsy, the way that it works is first you'll get a sale on Etsy. Then Printify automatically gets notified, as long as you're connected, that you've gotten a sale. And they'll go ahead and charge your credit card or a debit card for the cost of that item plus the cost of shipping. Then Etsy gives you whatever the total amount of revenue for that item was, minus sales tax and minus their Etsy fees. And then you get to keep the difference. So now let's see what the actual profit would be after Etsy fees to price your items in that range of what your competitors are charging. So for sweatshirts, I like to calculate it on the most expensive of the variants that I choose and then price all of the options with that exact same price. That way I'm always making a good profit no matter what color they're choosing and it's really nice and simple for the customer. So for the sport gray, when you have the Printify Premium, your cost for the sweatshirt plus shipping is $25.25. So if we go in that lower range of what the items on Etsy were priced at, which was around $32, if you price it at $32.99 for a sweatshirt, then you're only making $4.16. Whereas if they purchased the same sweatshirt, but in white, the cost with shipping is actually only $19.95. So you'd actually make $9.46. So this would be a great starting point to price your products when you first list it. But as you start selling that item more and more, I think a great target would be to relist that item closer to $38.99, since that's well within the range that your competitors are pricing their items. And then you'd make $14.89 on a white sweatshirt, and on a sport gray, you'd still make $9.59. And that is including all Etsy fees. And you can actually purchase this Etsy profit calculator down below in the description. This is something that I sell here on my channel. It also is a document where you can track your monthly income and expenses to see what your total profit is, what your total profit per sale is. And then it helps you keep track of everything for your taxes and even has a year to date summary. So you can really quickly and easily see how much money you're actually making with your business. So now let's go ahead and see how you'd price something like a wine tumbler. So like I said on the wine tumbler, the cost was $12.07 plus 649 for shipping. So the total cost of the item was $18.56. And it looked like the majority of the wine tumblers on Etsy were priced anywhere from $15 to $30. So if we went ahead and priced our wine tumbler at about $26.99, then you'd be making $5.42 if you sold one wine tumbler. But like I said, these wine tumblers are a great item to sell to groups like bachelorette parties. And when you sell multiple items, the second one only has $2.29 for shipping. So your total cost for the second and all the rest of the wine tumblers would be $14.36. So you'd actually make the $5 on the first one, but all the rest of the wine tumblers, you'd be making $9.62 profit per wine tumbler. So definitely something to consider if you're selling your products for a group that you're actually going to have a much higher profit margin because of the discounts you get on shipping. 
Now I will say that the advice that I just gave does really only apply to if you are living and selling in the United States. If you are selling in other countries like Europe or Germany, there are other types of fees that you're going to have to consider when in pricing your products. And in the US, Etsy does take care of all of the sales tax for you and does remit that to the state that they purchased it in. So you don't have to worry about sales taxes at all. Like I told you at the beginning of this video, I'd share what I think is actually more important than how you price your item, and that is actually literally everything else. If you aren't currently selling items that are in demand right now, you're not gonna sell as much. If you're not selling items that have trending, proven design styles, then you're not going to sell as much. If you're not using beautiful mock-ups that let the person really visualize how great the item's gonna look on them when they buy it, then you're not gonna sell as much. And if you aren't doing your due diligence and making sure that you're using great SEO, all 140 characters of your title, all 13 tags, then no one's even ever going to see your listing if you did everything else right. So this business is really a culmination of all of the things combined. And I wanted to share that in this video today because I see a lot of new people on the channel that aren't getting the sales that they wanna see and they think it's because they're too expensive. But I can promise you that if someone wants to buy something, it doesn't matter what the cost is. The Etsy shopper isn't the person coming here looking for the cheapest item that they can find. If they wanted that, they'd go to the dollar store or to Walmart, not to Etsy. Most shoppers on Etsy are looking for the perfect, unique gift to give to a loved one or a beautiful and unique item for themselves or their home. So just remember to bring value first, to do your homework, and make sure that you're selling an item that's actually competitive to the other really great things that are out there on the marketplace. Because it doesn't matter if your item is priced at $5 or $50, but if it's not what the customer is looking for, they're not going to buy it. I really hope that this video was helpful to you in learning how to price your items moving forward with your print on demand business. And thank you so much for staying all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.